Well, we're at my favourite shoot again on the borders, cow roast. Could possibly be our last visit, as it is now under new ownership. Let's hope the border bandit doesn't get all of it, and it stays in capable fair hands. I'd just like to point out that I think small estate shoots and the many syndicated shoots are the backbone of the shooting world and contribute enormously to the welfare of our beautiful flora and fauna. Let's hope our governments see sense and back the countryside and all that comes with it. Here's to a brighter future and I hope you enjoy our visit to this wonderful little border shoot. Thank you. Get them, sh get them shoes on. Yeah. Elvis Presley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to see some new faces. New faces look good. Like, we should use good lines round. Um, depend on the wind. But I'll get a look at the wind and go from there. So enjoy your day and uh, let's get going. Yeah. Morning, everybody at one of my favourite shoots near Kelso, on the borders again. It is a stunning shoot is this, look forward to it every time. And so with my top load of Doug, he fumbles a little bit now, he's getting a bit old like, like I, we, we, just, we just matched up perfect now because he's getting old, he's a little bit older than me and I'm getting old, so absolutely perfect. But we're just, uh, just Talking about the, the fishing, because you do a lot of fishing, uh, Doug, and yeah. do a lot of gilling, don't you? Yeah. And what do you think is affecting the, the salmon fishing then? Oh, uh, yeah. a combination. Too many seals, there's dolphins, you name it, everything's trying to kill them. Everything's trying to kill them, yeah. yeah. And most, most salmon that's caught anyway by rod and line is catch and release anyway, isn't it? Yeah, we, well, we I haven't seen any. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody take any, any, any salmon home for a bloody years. No, no, so it's no. not the fishermen that's affecting it. Nope. I think if it wasn't for the sporting fishermen, I think the salmon would be far, far worse off now than ever. Yeah. Anyway, we were to pay a bit of attention because these are some fantastic birds off here and they'll be very difficult in this wind. Our first drive, what a classic, off the hillside hanging wood. Birds affected by both the wind and sun, making them even more difficult. But I managed a few nice ones and a real screamer that my neighbour Tom had missed twice. So a good finish on a difficult eye wipe. <laughs> I'm very pleased with that anyway. Nice to see you and again. You, and yeah. you, and Bloody hell, there were some corkers there, weren't there? Aye, aye, you were, you were hitting them, though. Yeah. <laughs> Trouble is, when, they, when it's that windy, uh -huh. that pattern's all over the bloody book. Because yeah. by the time you pulled trigger, they moved a foot all the way. <laughs> yeah, some bloody good birds, yeah. Right, what a pleasure to be back here again, Al. Uh, absolutely, yeah. this world. <clears throat> One of our favourite spots. Yeah, the weather's perfect. Yeah. It's very windy, like. Yeah, very I mean, windy. I, I, I wouldn't say it was perfect. Well, because <laughs> they are they, they are, they are they're, they're hard enough on uh, on, oh, a, no. on a steady day, yeah. but these they'll be absolutely yeah. monstrous today, which yeah. we like to come and uh, and try our skills yeah. on them anyway. But uh, this is another shoot our Lincolnshire uh, spud bashes won't be able to come on either, because no, no they'll, chance. They'll never get to know about this place, no. will they? It's a secret so. shoot. They'll never find out. Nothing wrong with that. No, no. That's one of mine there, so they're still on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
well dug. First try for a, that was hard enough, but uh, this is one of the penultimate drives here, isn't it? And they'll, they'll come screaming down here with this wind at the back of them, and they'll be almost impossible to catch up. That's why when it's really when it's really a windy day, I I tend to lose a lot of clothing. I'll go down to a, a clay shooting jacket because it just helps me move a bit more. You've got to be really on song for stuff like this because they're very high, very fast. So you've got to be prepared to put, uh, you know, just well to stretch out and keep that gun moving. You'll see some tremendous birds here, but they will take some catching up. Uh, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we can we can drag one or two down. On this second drive, I shot a couple of nice crosses in the first few minutes. Then the wind got stronger and shoved the birds further to my left over my neighbouring guns. So I sent the cameraman to film John Pedder, a really good shot and a good friend of mine. As you can see, even John struggled on these birds and I suspect they were being pushed strongly, very strongly in fact, and buffeted out of the shot string. Sometimes you have to exaggerate the lead a foot or so to one side of the bird. That's what a good full feet in front. Just to have any chance of success in such strong winds. We've got a couple of good ones, so on to the next drive. Uh, this is Alec who we met at the Content Divine last night and he looks after the shoot and we're just going to just tell us what, we, what we've got on offer today Alec. Yeah, today we've got um, some pheasant goujons which we shot last week. So that's all, that's all local game? Yeah, all yeah. from Calroos. Yeah. Shot last week we've got a prawn smoked salmon of Mary Rose yeah. in Baby Gem and we've got a mallard pate with mm. a, an orange. Local, local, local shot game as well, yeah. Mallard, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shot. yeah. So. And knowing, knowing you, it'll be very tasty. Oh, well, hopefully. That, that's one of the reasons I like coming oh, here. Absolutely. Because it's always the best of grub. <laughs> The third drive is an absolute classic and I managed a few monsters on here, one in particular getting a raucous cheer from the rest of the guns. All these birds were driven off another hanging wood, driven into the wind and allowed to curl back over the guns, making for some spectacular sport, I must add, and I was right in the middle of it, <laughs> which is the best, the best place to be. The keeper really showed his skill here, managing to set very wind affected birds over the guns. All the way down the line, the guns got shooting, which was fantastic to see, and actually epic to achieve in these strong winds. Well done, keeper.
After lunch, we went to the fourth drive, and what a drive. I curling pheasants at their best. You have to be really on strong to connect with these monsters on the wind, and I was very pleased to have connected with some beauties. But once again, great manoeuvring by the keeper to present such sport in these kind of conditions. Well, what an epic drive, unreal, bloody hell. There were some strong birds there, strong on that wind, very high, very fast. He just could not drag all those down. It was maybe five to one, six to one in most cases, but uh, we did get some nice ones in the end. Well shot, Dave. Next time, leave me a few more. Do you hate any? <laughs> tell you what, you was awesome there. Fair play. Yeah, took well, some, fi yeah, took well some done, finding, Dave. didn't they? I'll tell you what. <laughs> you was out of this what do you think of that then, Kevin, for a drive? That was, was awesome. Yeah. absolutely it awesome. Fifth and final drive, and the wind is at epic proportions. But the sport is still fantastic, and everyone finishes on a high, and will go home with wonderful memories of a truly epic sporting day at this fantastic little border shoot. Thank you to everyone that made this day such a fantastic day. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and just like to say, please keep the faith in these trying times. All will work out well for the true country folk.